We're following breaking news right now. The NYPD is holding a briefing to discuss several criminal investigations in the city. Let's go to it right now. Early innocent 61-year-old woman named Juana Esperanza Soriano de Perdomo was shot in the back and killed. We have some good news today. This morning, we arrested and charged with murder 20-year-old Donald Johnson and 33-year-old Raquel Hampton. Both men are residents of the Bronx. Both have lengthy criminal histories. As I said at the scene of this crime, this is another example of pointless violence on the streets of our city. Criminals cannot act with impunity. Everyone will be held accountable for their actions. I want to commend truly the greatest detectives in the world and our field intelligence officers who immediately went to work doing what they do best. And we're not finished. There are additional suspects involved in this incident who will also be held accountable for their actions in the coming days. With some details related to this case, I'll turn it over to Chief of Detectives, Jimmy Essig. Good afternoon. Uh, just first, uh, I'd like to thank the uh, Bronx District Attorney's Office, Darcel Clark, and in particular, Christine Skayshirt of the Homicide Bureau there for their help in solving this case. Uh, you know, I can't speak highly enough, and uh, I couldn't be prouder. And on behalf of the police commissioner, the chief of department, uh, you know, the entire New York City Police Department is proud of the work the detectives, the men and women did up there. Uh, the, the case officer who couldn't be here today, he's still working. This is very early in the investigation. We made the arrest this morning. Uh, Adam Acosta from the 4-6 Detective Squad from Bronx Homicide. Uh, Rob Cintrone, uh, the chief up there, Timmy McCormick. Uh, Captain Mohammed Astar, who led this investigation. Lieutenant Rob Foley from the 4-6 Precinct Detective Squad. You know, all tremendous work in solving this horrendous crime. So today, at 7.40 a.m., members of the Bronx Violent Felony Squad arrested without incident the individuals responsible for this awful, appalling homicide of an innocent 61-year-old female in the Bronx. That person is identified as Donald Johnson, a male 20 years old of 2403 Creston Avenue in the Bronx. He has three prior arrests, one in October of 2020 for criminal possession of a controlled substance, one in Rockland County in, in November of 2020 for criminal possession of stolen property, in which he's on probation for, and one in, in New Jersey in November of 21 for guns and drugs, in which he was indicted in November uh, of January of 22. Uh, he is being charged with murder in the second degree, manslaughter in the first degree, and criminal possession of a weapon. Also taken into custody was his brother, Raquel Hampton, Hampton, R-A-K-E-L-L, -L, Hampton, a male 33 years old of 600 Creston Avenue in the Bronx. He is known to us as a Blood Gangs member. He has 11 prior arrests, including a, a criminal possession of a weapon in January of this year, in which he was indicted on April 1st, and he's out on bail. He also has a reckless endangerment, which he fired shots in August of 2020, and a reckless endangerment again where he fired shots in 2018, and he has a court next court date. At this time, and again, it's still early, this is what we believe occurred. On Monday, April 4th, at 7.05 p.m., in front of 164 East 188th Street, a female 61 years old who was exiting a store in which she frequently, frequently shops was struck by a bullet causing her death. She was totally innocent and an unattended victim of this scourge of gun violence we now see. 
Investigation reveals a dispute in which we believe involving vendors and blood gang members occurred in front of 150 East 188th Street. Three males, two of which are Mr. Johnson and Hampton, are arguing with three others, one of which is a clothes vendor at that location and we, whom we believe places a gun in his backpack. Mr. Hampton and Johnson brandish a 9mm handgun and as the three males flee towards 164 East 188th Street, Mr. Johnson fires his weapon five times. Our innocent victim is struck in the back. The vendor, the intended victim, flees into the subway and the two others intended flee in a white SUV. We are still conducting the investigation into the identities of the third person on the shooter side and the three in intended targets. And with that, I'd like to take questions if we have them. Um, Miles Miller, NBC. Um, Ronald Hampton had a court date uh, just the other day on the, on the, on the, on the 6th. Did he make that court date? And, um, had you guys identified him as a suspect at, uh, during that court appearance? This just uh, occurs on Monday, and it, uh, uh, we just made the arrest this morning. He's in custody in the 4-6 precinct as of 10 o'clock this morning. So all that, in terms of the background, is still under investigation right now. Yes. Hi. Linda Smith, Fox 5. Um, so a couple of questions for you. Donald Johnson, is he also a he, he is not known to us a blood gang member, but we know his brother is a blood gang member. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I'm clear on this. Johnson was out on probation. His brother was out on bail for the weapons possession. Yes, that's correct. He gets arrested in the Bronx in January for a gun. He, he's indicted on April 1st of this year, but he makes bail on the 4th. Uh, 25000 over 10000 which he pays $1,000. And where did you track them down to and what happened? He, they, they are both taken into custody at 2403 Crested Avenue. Is that an apartment? That, that's an apartment building in the Bronx. That's their, their apartment. And Jay Burkett? I'll tell you what you're Thank you. Uh, Chief, what is the approximate distance between where the fatal shot was fired where the victim was actually struck? Not far. If you, if, if you look up where the dispute sets up, where the, the illegal vendors are set up in front of 150 East 188th Street, about two and a half stores down towards the Grand Concourse is, is where our female exits the store. It's not very far at all, 30, 40 feet. Tom Tracy. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit more about this, uh, this dispute between vendors and, and these individuals? Is this some kind of shakedown? What was what was going on? The, the, the motive into this is still under investigation. What we know is you have uh, illegal vendors there with blood gang members there, and some of which of the, uh, uh, we have some narcotics involved in that. So at this time, the motive for the actual shooting is still under investigation, but we're exploring all avenues. Yeah, uh, Miles? Uh, and then can you talk about the investigative steps? Was this tracking surveillance videos? Yes. Uh, you know, uh, can't speak highly enough. The the 4-6 Precinct Detective Squad, Bronx Homicide, we have our field intelligence officers in the 4-6 Precinct, the patrol officers. You know, we put out that video. A lot of the officers, the field intelligence officers at the precinct had prior dealings who know these people. Uh, we, we It was... Uh, you know, good old-fashioned detective work, uh, getting that video out, talking to people, getting the IDs on them, working with the Bronx District Attorney's Office, developing the probable cause, and in a short time from 7 o'clock on Monday to basically Wednesday morning, we knew who our perpetrators were. Thank, thank, thank you, you all. We have an active scene that we have to be briefed on. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.